In this lecture, let us try to create a table with sortable columns. So, I have already created a table and added border equals 1. Then I have used T head and T body to separate the header content and body content because we don't need to sort the header instead we just have to sort the content so i have separated the header and body content using t head and t body tags in the headings i have given id name and marks and in the body i have added five rows for the first one id is 103 the name is hanna and the marks is 285 the second one is 126 aaron 590 Third one is ID 83, Sara and 387 marks. Fourth one is 114, Aiden 403 marks. And the last one is 99, Rose and 545. Now the web page looks like this. This is ID column, name column and marks column. What we want to do is when we click on this ID heading, this column should be sorted and accordingly the remaining values as well. Similarly, when the name is clicked, the names should be sorted in alphabetical order. And when we click marks, the marks should be sorted in ascending order. So that is what we are going to implement. That is, we are going to create a table with sortable columns. Now, when we move the mouse over the item, that is the heading or the content, what happens? The cursor becomes like this. So let us style this a bit so that the user will understand that these headings are clickable so for that let me add a style tag to add some css and let me create a class named clickable okay and let me set the cursor to be pointer and let me also change the background color for the time being let me make it purple we can change it if we want okay then on the hover event we will add this class clickable class to the column heading so how we can access the heading we can use th tag that is th is the table heading tag so using that we can access the table headings and using the each method we can attach the class to each column okay so i am going to add the class clickable on the hover event so let me add the function and here let me specify column this is for index okay so we need to add this for each th element so i can specify dollar this which will select all the headings one by one then dot hover and i'm going to use hover in and hover out using the same hover event so i need to have two functions one for hover in and the second one for hover out so in hover in what i need is i want to add the class clickable okay so how we can do that we can specify dollar this dot add class then what is the class name it is clickable and in hover out i want to remove the class okay so let me copy this and here instead of add it will be remove so hope you know the hover method this hover method allows us to add separate functions for hover in and hover out that is why i have specified two functions the first one will do the hover in event and the second one the hover out so when the mouse is moved over the th element we want to add the class clickable and when the mouse is moved outside we need to remove the class clickable so let's see how it works now refresh see when i move the mouse over the heading the class clickable is added that is why the pointer cursor is displayed and also the background color is changed similarly if i move here this class will be removed from id column and it will be added to the name column so like this we can make the user feel that these columns are clickable okay now we have done one part next what we need to do when we click on this column what should happen the items should be sorted so how we can do that we are going to do it using the sort method so outside this hover we need to add the click event so dollar this dot click okay within this i need to write the function 
then what should we get we need to get all the contents of the table we don't need the table heading actually we only need the contents of the table so how we can get it we can get it using t bodies tr child elements for this purpose i have separated the header section and content section because when we click on a column heading we need only the content to be sorted so how we can get the content let me declare a variable to store the details let me name it as records equals dollar table dot find how we can find them we need to specify t body the child elements tr so what will be selected by this this will look for the t body tag and it will select all the child elements that are tr that is this is used to find the child elements of a parent element so it will select all the tr elements that are the child elements of this t body element which means it will select all the five rows okay so this records will be containing all the content that are five different rows of the table next what we need to do we are actually going to use the sort method which is offered by javascript to sort array so records that is the array to be sorted dot sort let me specify function that can be passed to the sort method so a comma b and we need to do the processing if this records is a simple array we can just specify records dot sort only but in this case this records is a table of contents so we need to do something more to get the output correctly okay so we need to get each item in the column right suppose we click on the name column we need to get the values like hanna aaron sara aidan and rose then only we will be able to sort the items so let me specify where value 1 equals dollar a means the first one and this will be the complete row so we need to get the particular item okay so we can specify dot children td this will select all the children but we need only the one with the specific column number and we need to get the text out of that i will explain this once again this dollar a means that particular row and children means it will select all the children this row will have three td child elements right and out of that we need to get whichever header column is clicked so here we are getting the column value and that is passed to this eq method which will return only the value within that particular column and using text method we are getting the corresponding text similarly we can use it with b as well so value 2 equals let me copy this paste and change this to b 